Hey guys, it's Big Ben here, Camping World and Gander RV. I'm in front of a 2019 Flagstaff Super Life 27 RKWS. It's about 30, a little over 30 feet long and 7,200, 7,300 pounds. Lots of great features, so let's get right to the camper. So here we are at the front of this awesome 2019 Flagstaff. Every camper, as I look at them, they have a story to tell. Uh, something that says how you're going to use it, how your family's going to enjoy it. And so this one, you have the big front window. And you bring in lots of light into that front bedroom, which is always awesome. The more light in a camper, the better, because they aren't huge, but they can feel a lot bigger when you have that lots of windows, and especially that nice front window. You can have the power jack right there, have one button up and down, have a drink in your hand, setting up the camper, nice and easy. And even the 30 pound LP tanks, there's two of them there. So if you're out camping for an extended period of time, you don't have to worry about running into town to fill them up or you know running out of propane. And that's something that nobody wants. You have a nice chip guard in the front. Everybody's gonna be taking these down the road and it's always nice to have the extra protection. So you don't have to worry about damaging the camp camper every time you take it down the road. On the side here, you have your pass-through storage. This thing is huge, so you can put your tables, your chairs, your coolers, small children, husbands, whatever, get them all in there, because you have the space for it. There's tons and tons of space for a travel trailer. And as you can see on the back side here with the slides, it does have the slide toppers. What that does is keep debris, things like the needles, pine needles, pine tar, leaves, anything and everything, maybe acorns if you're out there. All that stuff gets on there and you don't want it to because it can damage stuff. Down below you have your solar panel hookup. Hook up a panel up here, the suitcase style. You can move it around with the sun. That way you keep your battery charged. Always, just as long as possible, it helps the battery last longer. Big power awning goes over the whole camper. So you can sit out here, enjoy yourself underneath the awning with your lawn chairs, maybe have a little drink and a little table in between you read whatever it's just a great space under the awning always one of my favorite spaces to be out when camping and then you have a spot here you can hang up a little grill and or a little table so you can do your cooking or some of your cooking because you already have the outdoor kitchen and then the spot for a tv in case you have a game on or whatever you can always be out here have that going but your solid steps they fold up easily into the camper adjustable legs and the big grab handle so when you're going up and down you don't have to worry about missing a step or getting their stuff up there. Outdoor speakers, so you can have some tunes going while you're out here under your big awning relaxing, and you have your huge outdoor kitchen, two burner stove top with a nice big refrigerator, but lots of extra space in there for your paper plates, your towels, all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, you have a frameless window here on the outside. What that does is make it less maintenance. You don't have the, the seal going around, and I see a lot of campers come in where the seals haven't been taken care of, and then they have water damage. So this frameless window, one less thing to worry about, so you can just be out there relaxing, enjoying your camper. And this camper, this Flagstaff, they don't waste any space. It's not a huge space right there, but it's still more storage that you have from the outside because you can never have too much storage on a camper. Now on the bottom there, you'll see the power stabilizer jacks. And with those, you press a button. You get, like once again, you can have a drink in your hand. Get set up quickly. Get camping, get relaxing. Just enjoying yourself. Don't have to worry about cranking things up and down. Your big spare tire, easy to get to. Hopefully you never need it. And up top there, you have a pre-wired for a backup or monitor camera so you can have a monitor camera going down the road. Watch what's coming up behind you and easily back into the campground. Ladder goes on the fully walkable roof, which is so important for all, doing all of your maintenance. Very, very important to have that ability to make it easy so you make sure you do your maintenance. Outdoor shower, outdoor antifreeze connector so you don't have to be standing on your head inside the camper trying to winterize it and everything's easy to get to and you even have a spot for a water filter right there so there you go guys that's the outside of this really cool flagstaff here we are on the inside of the super cool 2019 flagstaff super light 27 rkws and boy does this inside have a story to tell and what it's telling me is relaxation you have your big screen TV, your sound bar, built-in stereo, and your electric fireplace for those cool mornings. You can use the electricity from the campground, and you don't have to use your own propane. Use it all up. But right across from there, you have your recliners. So you can sit down. They have massage. They have heat. Sit down, relax, enjoy yourself at the end of a long day, and enjoy your entertainment center. The other story in here is a storage. 
there is tons of storage. Now, if you look at this, we'll stand back a little bit. Look at all the space in there, all the stuff you can get in there. And why is that? Because you can never have too much storage in a camper, right? Even a spot to hang your clothes right there does have the curved ceiling with the ducted AC, so you have nice, even cooling. So you have nice something in the front that's sweating, something in the back that's freezing. Super cool upgraded wood refrigerator front there. Gas and electric. Lots of space so you can get all of your gallons of milk, soda, frozen pizzas in there. And then you even have more storage right next door with all the cubbies. What's your one, two, three, four? Huge and they're nice and deep. I'm not sure what that's for, maybe for plates or cups. Anyway, your kitchen area in the back here, lots of full pull-out drawers all the way down. Outlet right there, lots of countertop space, more storage above with the microwave. And up above, you can get all of your paper plates, your regular plates, your cups, whatever else you need, you can get in there. And then you have your three burner stove top with a countertop extender. Flip that up out of the way, boom, you got three burners and even a knife rack right there for your knives. And then super, pretty big oven, bigger than a lot of campers. So you got that and a drawer down below. Underneath the stainless steel sink, more storage down below there. And above, you got your dual stainless steel sink so you can put your hot stuff in there. Nobody wants to up there and be like in the plastic ones. Oh no, wait, don't put it in there because you might burn a ring, get in trouble. And you have your spray nozzle for doing the dishes. Nice dinette, does go down to a bed. More storage over above that. And you have storage down below on both sides. Walking through the camper, right here by the front door. All of your controls even has tank heaters on it. All the slides, there's three slides. You have your porch lights, you have awning lights, you have interior lights, lights everywhere, and Wi-Fi. You have your foot flush toilet, lots of leg room, lots of arm room with your max air fan. So you want to suck some air out, that thing's going to do it. It's going to suck a lot of air out really quickly. Really nice walk-through bathroom with your big sink right there. More storage down below and a vanity above. Skylight with your corner shower. has a little shower caddy, whatever you want to call it in there. Shower wand, real shower doors to help control the water. You have a closet here that's on a slide. You have lots of extra storage there. And on the end, it's actually a spot for hanging clothes, nice and big. So you can hang all of your important stuff in there for dressing up and going out and having a good time. Your, like I said, the front window has a shade down right now, but it can let a, light, a lot of light in. And on both sides, you have a drawer and outlets in case you have a CPAP or whatever else. You got a spot for that. That's, that's really important. And it doesn't have the cupboards or the whatever closets coming down the sides that make some people feel claustrophobic. And at the end of the bed, lots of walk around room so you can fit through there it's about two feet maybe 18 inches and this one is prepped for a second ac so you have 50 amp already if you want to add the second ac you're going somewhere where it's hot don't worry you can add that no problem and be ready to go and be chilling so there you go double slide back here in the living room look at the space in here you could be in here dancing around see you have pets i know dogs like to sit in the most in the worst spot right they just like to lay down in here, you got lots of room. You can walk around them. No problem. So there you go. That's this really cool 2019 Flagstaff Superlight 27 RKWS. Hey, guys. This is Big Ben here, Gander RV and Camping World. And today I'm going to go over this awesome 2021. It's used Coachman Freedom Express Ultra Light Edition. It's a 259 FDS. It's a great camper. It has lots of features. So let's get right to the camper. So in the front, you notice the power jack, two 20 pound LPs, the really cool chip guard there. It does have the front window, which I always like, and the really cool LED lights out of the round ones. I just think they look a little cooler. Then you have your pass-through storage right here, but it has an extra feature in there too. It has a little shelf up high. It just makes better use of space, but you still have your pass-through storage all the way through. It does have the solar panel hookup right there, your water heater. And then you have a nice big power awning with the outdoor speakers, goes all the way across the door. Now on the end over here, you have a huge outdoor kitchen with the big refrigerator, storage for your paper plates and towels and whatever else. Nice little spice rack, built-in sink. And let's see which way is this open up. Right there you go. See, nice big refrigerator for the outside. 
And in the back here, you have another storage area, which you never can have too much storage in a camper, right? Ladder to go on your fully walkable roof, already has a backup camera, and it has a little hitch for a bike rack and your spare tire. Hopefully you never need it, but if you do, easy to get to. Let's go take a look on the inside. Here we are on the inside, right when you walk in, you have all your controls right here, light switches, and right across from that, really nice deep pantry, lots of extra space in there, pots and pans, board games, whatever else, even already has a coat rack in there. Then you have your nice big gas electric refrigerator, so you can get a frozen pizza up on top there, no problem. Upgraded stainless steel microwave, three burner stove top with the oven. Extra drawers here with the, the uh, dividers for the silverware already. Just a nice use of space, goes around this big, huge stainless steel sink. It is a dual, but see how the window up here gives you all the extra light. So if you're up here doing dishes, it's always nice. You can look out, see what's going on, but still keep on working. Has the extra outlets over there, pop up out of the counter. Above, more storage all the way through. And then a nice big cabinet right next to that, really deep. Another spot for board games or pots and pans, whatever. Your dinette does go down to the bed, movable table. Storage underneath both sides. You can see down there. And then you walk over to your living area. So you have your nice recliners. Also notice the nice big windows that do open up so you can get a nice cross breeze on a day like today. And that's directly across from your big screen TV with your built-in stereo and more storage down below. You do have your ducted AC and your in-ceiling speakers inside here too. Coming down over here to the bathroom, you have your porcelain foot flush toilet, lots of leg room, extra towel hanging space there, a nice little cubby spot right there. More over here with your vanity, does have a vent and the skylight with real shower doors, corner shower, Plenty of room, even for me. I can get in there, no problem. Oh, look at that, there's a mirror. Then you come to the bedroom in the back. So you have a bed on the slide. It has little shelves on both sides. You have your overhead storage windows that do open up. And of course, with all of our used uh, campers now, you get the brand new memory foam mattress up here. Another big spot there, spot for your TV. And, you have your big closet goes all the way across there to hang up all your clothes and whatever else. Oh, there's more over here too. Look at that. Woo! Lots of storage. Every little space is utilized for something. So there you go. This is a 2021 Coachman Freedom Express Ultralight Edition. Super nice camper. It's in great shape. We're ready to go down the road. Give me a call. Big Ben, Gander RV. 715-614-2121.